Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching my videos. I am so excited, it is, um, well, tomorrow's Christmas Eve, but I'll be uploading it, so I guess today is Christmas Eve. But I wanted to update you guys with my half marathon, because I have not yet. It's been about a week and a half, almost. And I wanted to share how that went. I know several people asked on Facebook, but I've been so busy lately with the holidays at the salon and Christmas shopping and moving and getting settled in. So some of you have been following me on social media for a long time. You know that I just moved and that kind of derails me on my training for my half marathon. I moved two weeks out from my half marathon and so the, the day that I actually moved was the day that I was supposed to do my longest run, which was a 12 mile run. And I did a 10 mile run that was my longest one a couple weeks before that. But I was I told myself, hey, I did the 10 mile run. If I don't really get my 12 mile in, it's not gonna really be a big deal. Well, I don't know what it is about moving, but every time I move into a new place, I it is so hard for me to wake up. So between moving and also just trying to get settled in and trying to get unpacked and everything. I was just so tired I could not wake up for the life of me. So I definitely skipped a lot of training and I didn't run for a whole week and then I did one five mile run the week before which was like the Saturday before, or yeah it was Saturday before the Sunday run the following weekend and then I did not do anything at all and I told myself eh no big deal. And I totally regret it because when I got to the 12th mile of that run, I was with my girlfriend Alice and she ran it with me. We are both like regretting not training those last two weeks. And not that you really do any long runs, but it's just getting like in that shape and also preventing injuries. So that's one thing that I kind of regret, but um, hey, you learn your lesson every time you make a mistake. So I, during, whenever I did the actual when I ran the race, I ran it with one of my really good friends from Austin. So exciting, you know, to do it your first time with someone else. And I mean, to, I know that to other people it's not a big deal. People run halves all the time. But for me it was because it's something that I've never done and it's pretty hard for me at least. <laughs> and so I was really excited that my girlfriend Allison did it with me for the first time. Halfway point, we had to stop. <laughs> We had to use the restroom like really bad and there was like a huge line and so we had this momentum. We had a 9 minute 30 pace going on the whole time and then once we stopped, which was about halfway, it's so crazy how that slows you down and then we waited in line and then we went to the restroom and so after that, it's like I ran out of fuel. I felt so heavy. It was so hard for me to run and she, we, luckily we had our little running, um, our running belts and that had so many like goo gels. I was downing those every mile the rest of the way and luckily towards the end there was people passing out goo gels and stuff. I think the one of the most the funniest part of the race and the really cool part is that at random different stops there's like live music and there's also like funny signs. I mean there I always laugh at all the nasty stuff. There was some that said don't pants your poop or run like I just farted. <laughs> I know I'm sorry I'm a little gross but uh, it was it was super fun. There were signs that said "run." You've done stupider stupider things, drunk. And there was just the energy, all the people there, the people running. It was just really amazing. And it's what I love so much about races versus everything that I've done in the past, like with the fitness industry, is you have people of all shapes and sizes. You have crazy looking hair, you have crazy outfits, people in tutus. And I just love that it's not about the physical appearance so much. So that was just really cool, just seeing everyone. I mean, you would think there's some people that look like they're out of shape and they are just like gunning it. So I really, really enjoyed that. So after that, when we got to about the 10th mile in, we were just, Dying. Allison's IT band was like flaring up, so then she wanted to stop. And when I, once I started stopping, I wanted, you know, I wanted to maintain stopping. And then I had a huge cramp in my my calf. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. But I had to like pull over on a sidewalk, and I couldn't move my leg for almost a minute. And it was so cute. This old lady, she came up to me, and she's like, "Do you want me to call 911?" And I'm like, "No, it's okay."
okay. I'll be okay. But yeah, that it was that part right there stopping. It was very brutal and my calf was sore for about five days afterwards. So those last few miles were definitely super, super hard and we just wanted to get to a bathroom like bad. And we finally finished it, but it was brutal. Like most people after races are like, I can't wait to train for my next one. I can't wait. I want to do a marathon now. And I, I'll be honest, I don't know the next time I'll do the half <laughs> or even a full, but if I do it, it's going to be later on in 2015, not, and not in December either, because I don't want it to be cold, which luckily the weather was not bad at all. So I can't complain about that, but I'm not thinking about that. All I'm thinking about is just wanting to be in shape and, you know, work out and do fun stuff like I have been all year long, having balance and trying different things, you know, trying different workouts, different fitness studios getting out in nature, running outside, and just doing things for me, for my health, and for fun, not because I am like disgusted with my body or anything like that. So I'm doing it because I love my body and I want to treat it like I love my body. So yeah, enough about that. That was a long ramble. So now that it is the end of the year, I am going to be sitting down and reflecting on my year what I can say honestly this year I feel like this year was all about gratitude the beginning of the year my husband got into his little little is not it's not little but he got into his accident where he fell off the ladder and he could have passed away and so I am so grateful that he's still with me and you know he's okay and he was fine a few months later and back at working out and back at living a normal life but that was that was how our year started and so the whole year I was just so grateful like we just sometimes we have little moments where we reflect and we say you know that was like a reality check and we need to always not you know we need to always be so grateful for everything we have and all the blessings that we have in our lives. So I feel like a lot of this year was definitely being grateful. Also, I would say I've done a lot of personal growth and development. I did set out those goals in the beginning of the year to do a lot of um, personal growth, self-development courses and stuff to improve myself um, business-wise, personally, financially, just all kinds of different ways that I could improve myself. So I did accomplish those goals and I'm going to be setting new goals this year. I did set the goals to be more consistent with my vlogging and it's like I did a couple and then whenever the accident happened it just kind of threw me off and then I slowly started getting back into it and then I slowly died down and then towards the end obviously if you've been watching my videos I've been getting back into it and you know I I'm happy that I am being more consistent because that's the goal that I set out to do and although I didn't do it the whole year I'm just happy that I'm actually following through with it now I must say that my girlfriend is a huge source of inspiration though she um, she also does makeup videos and vlogs and stuff like that and she just gave birth to a little baby girl and she also has a two-year-old girl and so seeing that and her raising the her beautiful girls and being married and you know working her business and stuff like that it and to see her be consistent with her blogging it's actually inspired me and I told myself you know if she could do this with two babies I can totally do this I just need to make time because at the end of the day you make time for what you truly genuinely want I really have been taking that into consideration there's going to be days where I sacrifice and don't go out to eat with friends or I'm not, you know, laying down watching TV or whatever it is. But at the end of the day, like, I don't want to use up my youth or I don't want to grow old and regret not doing the things that I could have when I was younger and I truly had the energy. I don't want to take my age, take my energy, take my health for granted. So I need to do what I love doing with it. And so that is all the vlogging and inspiring and motivating other people and also all the beauty stuff you know if I can help other people um, shoot for their dreams that really just um, 
it's very rewarding. So, and if I can make people feel better about themselves, that's very rewarding for me too. So, sorry for the long rambling session there, but I just wanted to share a little update with y'all. Stay tuned next week because I will be sharing all of my 2014 favorites and that is including all the makeup products that I've been discovering, hair products, supplements, and just favorite workouts. Everything that I enjoyed doing in 2014, so stay tuned.